Commerce Commission is investigating a number of possible pyramid schemes involving companies targeting the Pacific community. Victims are promised big cash quickly if they put in money first. The scheme is presented as an investment or gifting program. One News Pacific correspondent Barbara Driva broke the story last night and she joins us now. Uh, it's great to have you here. Nice to have you. Nice to be here. <laughs> I know. Thanks for coming. But in so terrible early. circumstances. Absolutely. Yeah. You had this exclusive story yeah. uh, last night, which is really quite frustrating to see this stuff continuing in the Pacific community. Tell us about this, a possible pyramid scheme. How does yeah. it work? So basically all these groups are set up around Auckland um, and they're mushrooming out. Basically, um, the organisers try and recruit people. Those people recruit other people. Um, you put in money and you're promised a big return but um, it turns out that all the people that we talked to had not got any money back because all the people on the bottom layer um, generally don't get any money back. Now, we had some footage um, from uh, one of the, I guess you could say, recruitment drives, and um, this is what one of the promoters there had to say. We are a registered company. Um, we only started little, but we're growing very, very fast. And I can guarantee you guys to join us because the money will get paid. Yeah, it really was quite confronting to see that clip mm. last night in the news. Now, uh, who are they targeting? It's... The, the ones we have been investigating, because there's lots of different groups um, and they go by all sorts of different names, the ones we've been investigating have specifically targeted the Tongan community because they bring in friends and relatives and community members, church people. Which like, is how those communities operate. Exactly, but also um, it is affecting, starting to affect other communities as well, the Tuvalu community, um, I've been told, and Samoa as well. Uh, and it really does prey on the most vulnerable. The woman that we spoke to who um, had given the money, they've been saving, you know, precious dollars for their children's school fees, things like that. It, it's really um, disgraceful. I want to point out that pyramid schemes are um, illegal and the Commerce Commission is investigating this to see these ones, to see um, whether any prosecutions will take place. So do you know how much money has been lost here? Look, all I can say is that there, because everyone pays different amounts of money and the people we've spoken to have paid between 300 and 1500 Dollars, um, and we know that hundreds of people have been involved. Could be quite a lot, but even three hundred dollars in Dura, you know that. That's it's, absolutely. It's, it's a lot of money for absolutely. for people who don't have much to start with. It, absolutely. And is it a lot, is it happening a lot? These recruitment drives in the, in religious settings. Um, there have been some um, at churches, church halls, for example, because it's recruiting people around you. So if you go to church, you could say to, oh, you know, I've got this this great money making thing. Put in some money, you'll get heaps back. You know, and that's how it works. Uh, you said the Commerce Commission is in investigating this at the moment. Have they said anything about it? No. So in an investigation, the Commerce Commission don't, um, you know, they've got a policy not to. But I think anyone who has got any um, complaints or want to should definitely ring and, and make a complaint with the Commerce Commission so, because there are so many groups that, um, yeah, the Commerce Commission needs to know about them.